everyone, and welcome to the morning show. Good morning, Andy. Good morning. A uh, beautiful day in store for all of us. Right now, 66 degrees. Should be sunny all day long. Another perfect Michigan summer day. And high of 79, or 82. Oh. Yesterday's high was 79. It was gorgeous yesterday. Beautiful yeah, day. It was. Beautiful night. Be nice. Yeah. Uh, maybe some thunderstorms overnight tonight. A uh, busy day at the Jackson County Fair today. Always a busy day at the yeah. Jackson County Fair. Beautiful day. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go out to the Sky Cam and uh, see how beautiful it is. Our hometown heating, cooling, and more Sky Cam. Visit heatandcoolwithus.com. Good morning, JTV. It's Tina again from Hometown Heating, Cooling, and More. Just coming to tell you that it's going to be a beautiful day today, so get outside. I will get outside. Tina will actually be here on Monday recording some new Tinas. So we're, we're well, I thought that was live. Um, some of them are live. Some of them are live, but sometimes we do record the Tina. A little hazy. Uh, whether it's hot or cold, Tina's got that sweatshirt on. Well, you uh, never know. Um, day today includes at the fair, it's pay one price day, mm. and the grandstand show tonight is ATR Monster Trucks. Cascades has the Paw Patrol again. Really? I yeah. wonder if the Fox 2 crew will be down again to uh, highlight the falls. Ada Leanne will be singing along with the Paw Patrol hmm. dogs. And we've got a murder mystery at Veritas, and it's pasta night at Galazio in Albion. Well, good Lord, there's <laughs> a lot to do. Brandon went to the fair the other day and did the rides and was trying to explain to me the tickets and things like that. Do you remember going to the fair and screwing yes. it up? This ride is 18 tickets. <laughs> well, it's hard to figure out what's what, right? Like yeah. when you go buy the tickets, sometimes you can buy too many tickets or not enough tickets. Mm -hmm. If there's a line, and you don't buy enough tickets, and then you get to a ride and you need four tickets, but you only have three tickets. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, pay one price day. You don't need tickets. Perfect. Wristbands. I like that idea. Did you play any games, Brandon? Uh, we did not play games. No games. Yeah. yeah. Stay, away. stay away from the games. <laughs> the games, you might as well. Uh, it's not for us. Let's yeah, play. yeah, yeah. Yesterday was Primary election day in the city of Jackson, general elections for two school districts. And in the mayoral primary, the top two vote getters were incumbent Mayor Daniel Mahoney and perennial challenger John Wilson. Uh, rematch, basically, mm -hmm. from two years ago. Those two advanced to the November general election. Uh, and third place was Laura Schlechte. And I think the bigger news is that only 11% of registered voters in the city of Jackson turned out. Oh. Well, I mean, there's been so much to do. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty pathetic, 11%, but 100% uh, compliance. It's, uh, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. right. It just tells me that people really don't care. <laughs> because if you did, you would get out and vote. 90% of the people registered to vote yeah. didn't bother. And, and you can Especially do it from the from the comfort of your own home. I don't know, I don't know, it's weird. 11%, um, that's, it's not good, very, not good, so. Mm. Yeah, and when you think about it, like, let's look, do you have the total vote count? Like, well, what is 11%? Well, uh, Daniel Mahoney had 1,265 votes, John Wilson, 771, Laura Dwyer Schlecke, 573. So that's total mm. number of uh, votes for a mayoral election, mm -hmm. primary, so. Yeah, 2,000, 2,000 votes. Yeah. On uh, the two school district uh, bond elections, Michigan Center approved the $6.3 million bond issue, and Northwest Community Schools voters approved a $21.5 million bond issue. Very big deal. A lot of times uh, when those bond uh, issues are on a August uh, primary, they, you know, people get a little bit nervous because of voter turnout, but mm -hmm. uh, congratulations to those uh, two districts. Uh, I know they were really, really hoping to pass that. In uh, Michigan Center, 15% of the registered voters turned out, and in Northwest, 20%. 
it's of decent. registered voters. I mean, it's twice Better as many. Better than 11, yeah. Twice as many as uh, in the uh, city. Mm -hmm. So school starts soon, and I have to go to the school that my daughter's attending today to pick up a packet. Mm. Packet pickup day. A packet pickup. So I'm excited to see what's in this packet that I will be picking up. So do you have any idea? Uh, probably instructions. I need instructions. A lot of instructions. Rules. Rules. A lot of rules. Rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. Dress code. Mm -hmm. Violations. Mm -hmm. um, detentions. Where smoking is allowed on campus. They do not allow smoking. <laughs> they do not. You know, Michigan Center Athletic Field is the last <laughs> designated smoking section in the county on mm -hmm. a school premises. And this was years ago. But you do remember there was a smoking section. Yeah, I do. I yeah. was. <laughs> yeah. Now it's a vaping section, but not at that school. Um, so I wanted to show some pictures from the uh, telescope that Jackson College mm -hmm. has installed. And you are know, these pictures that are uh, of the moon and things like that? These are not pictures of the moon. Oh. OK. Um, these are pictures of what the telescope looks like. Yeah, and this is like the real deal. Wow. Yes, this is a research telescope. And it's going to allow Jackson College to actually uh, teach uh, classes across the country, really. It's cool, you'll be mm -hmm. able to, uh, I think there'll be a live, live feed as well, that's cool. Now you have a telescope yourself. I do, yeah. But nothing like this no. whatsoever. So, no. isn't, that, isn't that cool? It's amazing all the uh, campus uh, improvements and things that go on uh, at Jackson College. Yeah, more to come. Yeah. Uh, there's actually a ribbon cutting ceremony for the new uh, observatory yes. on Monday afternoon, the 14th, and all are welcome to come out. Yeah, check it out. Very sure cool. There will be uh, re refreshments, telescope, th uh, probably telescope shaped cookies, something <laughs> like that. Maybe. I don't know. They always uh, do a wonderful job. Um, big news in the gambling and sports industry. ESPN. Gambling is the sports Gambling industry. is the sports industry now, yeah. ESPN and uh, Penn National are uh, together. Penn National, they sold Barstool back to Barstool, believe it or not. Yeah. And now uh, ESPN and Penn National are in cahoots. Mm -hmm. So what say you? Well, it's just uh, further uh, blurring of the lines. <laughs> I guess that's a great way to say it. You know, it's um, ESPN. It's, you know, I'm sure all the people that were fired from ESPN wonders how they found uh, the money to buy, but they're getting uh, from the uh, gambling industry $5 billion. Yeah. And Bob Iger, the uh, president of uh, Disney, is uh, talking about dumping ESPN. That would be interesting to see uh, if, that, if that really happens. Mm -hmm. um, it, ESPN is going to now control a major portion of this Everything. gambling industry, especially mm -hmm. with uh, the dominance that they are going to have over college football, essentially kind of orchestrating where teams play and when teams play. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be able to drive gambling. So it'll, I'll be interested to see what some of uh, the competitors like DraftKings and uh, FanDuel, who are uh, multi-million dollar advertisers with ESPN across all platforms so it's uh, it's crazy mm -hmm. it's crazy crazy times yeah so we have uh, paid athletes paid uh, amateur college athletes uh, we have now um, alcohol in all the stadiums in Michigan mm -hmm. now gambling mm -hmm. on, on uh, every aspect of uh, sports mm -hmm. and yeah, it's out of control. What else could we do to make money, Brandon, at the <laughs> games? What could we sell? Could we sell drugs? <laughs> That's we have nice. a table of drugs at the game. We'll sell those, too. It'll be nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's not the sports era that uh, we grew up in enjoying. So, no. But a lot of money to be, uh, to be made, for sure. Willie Mays would say, hey. The Jackson City Championship is down to the final 16 golfers. You can check out those... Uh, pairings and some photos on our website. Can you bet on those golfers? Because I was betting against a couple of them. <laughs> in the city? In the city? <laughs> yeah. I think you can bet on them. I, I, yeah. I, I, bet, I, I yeah. bet against a couple. I, I, bet on, mm -hmm. I bet on a couple. I won't say who I bet against. 
No, I don't bet against <laughs> anyone. I, I've, I've got a little parlay going, actually, in the city championship, so uh, all three of my guys are still playing. Speaking of money, do you know anyone in Neptune Beach, Florida? Yes. You do? Yes. Who? His name's William. Oh, is that where he lives? Yes. Well, he, if he shops at Publix. He doesn't. Uh, a winner, one winner of the Mega Millions, oh. $1.558 uh, billion, won by one person who purchased a ticket at the Publix, which is a nice grocery I store. I do like Publix. They have nice prepared foods. Uh, yeah, I wish we had one. Here. I do too. I wish we had a Publix. Um, so, so this is probably, this is, it's interesting. I wonder if it was the Publix gas station or the Publix. Oh, no, the full supermarket because the okay. media is already there. All right. The media circus has de uh, descended on this. That Publix. Publix gets like a million bucks. I don't know what they're selling the ticket. Probably. Florida. Uh, here's an interesting. You know, they were talking about all the car crashes on '94 because yeah. of the, the construction confusion. Uh, in Pennsylvania, Decatur Township, Pennsylvania, uh, rescue oh company uh, got a call of a vehicle in a structure, and this driver purposely launched his vehicle into this house. It was some, somebody that was you know, showing off, uh, ramped over the road. I guess there was a, a bump in the road, went flying into the second floor. The driver um, was uninjured and the rescue crew stabilized the house, wow, and helped the homeowners put up a tarp. They'll finally be able to replace that wallpaper. <laughs> I don't think they're going to find that pattern in any wallpaper book. But uh, l luckily, um, no one was injured. Can you imagine somebody sleeping? It looks like they... It looks like there's a treadmill. Someone was working out in the second floor guest room. What year do you think that treadmill was from? They don't even sell gray, light gray treadmills. Mm, it looks white. It looks just like fair country fun to me. It looks like a pretty nice, it looks like it was a pretty nice. You remember house, you see the, the bed, is that the bed tipped over with the mattress uh, propped against the door now? Yep, it is. Yeah, that's a, it's probably, uh, the, the door's kind of scratched up, probably a teenager. You never know what's in those old farmhouses off the country road. No. Man, what a mess. Mm. Do you remember cow tipping? Mm. You don't hear much about that anymore, no, do you? you no, know, you know. No, that needs to come back. Mm -hmm. hmm. Join us at the uh, Southern Michigan Bank and Trust grand opening and ribbon cutting. It's tomorrow at 11 to 2 at the 200 brand new space for Southern Michigan Bank and Trust. Mm -hmm. uh, some sad news. Uh, longtime Detroit broadcaster and former Tiger player Jim Price passed away Monday night at the age of 81. He was a radio analyst and color commentator for much of the last 30 years for the team. He was a backup catcher to all-star Bill Freehan from uh, 67 to 71. He played um, 64 games in 68, and that's the year the Tigers won the uh, World Series. So he had a pretty decent career, but he's most remembered for all his years on the radio. And remember, mm -hmm. he was on Pass. Remember Pass? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I do remember Pass. Yeah. But legend, legend in uh, many different ways. I, I think people would have a hard time naming the uh, Tigers broadcasters today. Yes. I think so, too. Yeah. Mario Impemba and um, what's the, the other, other guy? Austin what? Uh, yeah, Austin should know. The radio, the radio guy. Shep. 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 Mm. Shep. Uh, you were telling me about the um, melee in uh, Montgomery yesterday, oh, I and can't. it turns out it is all over the news. Finally, yeah. you're <laughs> up to speed on it. Do you, have you been following it? I have now. The good. police uh, are good. charging three people at least. Okay, good. I'm glad you're up to speed on that. Yes, I am. So one of the one of the um, fighters, uh, the pontoon boat fighters, mm -hmm. uh, the guy, that, the captain. That, through his hat? That was great. No, and that was, <laughs> that's called a smoke signal. Oh. Um, the, one of the gentlemen owns a mini mart. 
Mm. So me and the fellows have booked a plane ticket. We're going to go see this mini mart Ooh. in Selma, Alabama. Oh, Selma. Yeah. So we're going to go check this out. Yeah. So um, we'll report back. But uh, we like to travel around and meet these viral characters that mm. cause trouble. Uh, I got another boat story for you. The uh, world's largest cruise ship is set to set sail starting early uh -oh. next year. This is... Seen the, the start of this movie before, Brandon. You remember Titanic? <laughs> <laughs> it's five times the size of the Titanic. It will hold 10,000 people. It's just what you want to do on a vacation. Go get trapped uh, on a floating uh, whatever with 10,000 other people. You stop at the orange cut-off sleeve <laughs> t-shirt stand. There are uh, five uh, water parks. I'd stay in this little area here. 20 decks. Oh, gosh. Maybe your sister Becky will mm -hmm. book a trip on this. You know, I talked to someone last night, I golfed with someone last night. Him and his wife are taking a cruise. Guess where they're leaving from? Uh, I don't know. Tokyo. Tokyo? Yes. Wow. Flying to Tokyo to take a cruise from Tokyo. That's insane. It is insane. So this is one of the dining uh, areas. I can't imagine. How does it stay afloat? I don't know. How does it float? I don't know how planes fly. I Brandon, you wouldn't get on that thing. No, probably not. Mm -mm. I would, I, actually, you know what? I've never been on a cruise, so I really, you know, can't I complain don't even, about them. I, I don't even think I've seen a cruise ship in person. Oh, you have? Mm -mm. Yeah, in uh, Norfolk, when we fly in, there's cruise ships. No, those are not. Those are baby cruise no, ships. Well, there are, they are cruise ships. Those are like the mini, mm -hmm. mini carnival. Our show today is brought to you by Vermeulen's Home Furnishings. They're in their third generation of being family owned and operated. Thank you to Vermeulen's. Our show today also brought to you by Total Landscaping, Inc. If uh, you've been looking for some maintenance on your uh, landscaping, hardscapes, softscapes, or uh, tree trimming, brush clearing. Just get your lawn looking good so your neighbors don't scoff when they drive by. Total Landscaping, 764-3626. Uh, here's another boat you won't be on, uh, the SS Badger. Mm. Uh, it broke the ferry between Ludington and Wisconsin. The SS Badger is uh, out of commission for the rest of the year. Now, you may think this would not affect me, but it does. <laughs> does it? Yeah, it does. Yes. Really? Yes. The, the boys and I are doing a golf trip to Whistling Straits next May. Oh. We were going to take that ferry. To Manitowoc? Mm -hmm. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. Well, it might be back in... Uh, operation the boat actually uh is okay except the ramping system i'm not getting on the thing now i mean this is that's the one where you drive your car on yes and then you you, you get sit there you sit there and like okay i guess uh -huh. i guess we'll go across the lake done i'm driving yeah. around you'll have to i'm driving around so they hope to be back next season but it is out of commission for the season and the boat works okay it's the ramping system so they can't get the cars on or off. That's too bad. <laughs> That's too bad. It's National Health Center Week, and the Center for Family Health here in Jackson is celebrating all week long. The center has been opening the door to health care for all in our community for over 30 years. You can uh, call, book an appointment. They're still doing uh, school physicals. So uh, I'm sure with school starting in a couple weeks, there's plenty of people who have yet to do that for their young athlete. Visit Center for Family Health org. Something happened in New York City yesterday, the first time in, since the 1950s. Really? Can you guess what that was? Um, no. Shark bite. Really? Yes. A woman was bit by a shark at Rockaway Beach mm -hmm. in New York City, and this is the first confirmed shark bite since the 50s. Wow. The woman, Tatiana Koltanyuk, was bitten on the left leg as she swam near Beach 59th Street. She's okay. Rescuers applied a tourniquet. They called the ambulance. She's in the hospital and recovering. Is that near the Gilgo Beach? Uh, no. Have you been following this case? Yes. The, no, that's out on Long Island. Okay, I've been following this, uh, the Gilgo Beach uh, murderer, really. 
Or does, does he? Have, is there a nickname? There like should be. The Gilgo Beach. Yeah. Killer? There's a movie about it, like in 2021. I just saw that, was Brandon. A movie? So I'm yeah. scrolling yeah. along. Yeah, they, found out what was. Yeah, they did. Have I to was. Remake the it movie? was either on. I don't know what it was on. Lifetime. I saw. Was it on Lifetime? <laughs> it was on the other night, and I'm scrolling, and it's like the Gilgo Beach murderer, yeah. and it's 2021, and I'm thinking, hey, they just caught this guy. What was it on? Lifetime. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lifetime. Yeah, right. The guys, <laughs> guys at Lifetime every night. Jeez. <laughs> oh, who's on the show today? Oh, we have a wonderful show. Sherry Good and Jody Petrowski from Jackson School of the Arts, and they will join us right after this break. The Enchanted Forest Bar and Grill has something for everyone. They offer a large menu with a variety of meals to choose from, including many Middle Eastern options, along with the everyday favorites. Enjoy live music and dancing, pool table, huge bar and large banquet hall, perfect for your next gathering, wedding reception, graduation party, and more. And don't miss Sunday brunch, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Experience a great night out at the Enchanted Forest Bar and Grill, located at 3705 Ann Arbor Road in Jackson. Join Spring Arbor University as we celebrate 150 years of Christ-centered education at our sesquicentennial gala on September 9th, featuring special guest The Newsboys. This formal attire event includes a catered reception, three-course dinner, music by the Arbor Jazz Cats, giveaways, and an intimate one-of-a-kind concert featuring Dove Award-winning group The Newsboys. Purchase your tickets to Spring Arbor University's Sesquicentennial Gala today at SAU150.org. Summer is here, and it's almost time for the American One Credit Union Summer Car Sale. Shop more than 300 vehicles with local dealers August 16th through the 19th at the Westwood Mall in Jackson. When you finance with American One during the sale, you'll receive two entries to win a $5,000 auto loan paydown, a $100 gas card from your dealership, and so much more. For full details, visit AmericanOneCU.org. Federally insured by the NCUA. I use my brain power to help kids realize theirs. I am Henry. When Tyler got his new heart, ours became whole again. We are Henry. I'm a bike rider and a rare cancer survivor. I am Henry. I'm a patient from point A to point B. I am Henry. I am Henry. I am Henry. When you found your inner believer and all around conqueror, you found your Henry. Ogma Brewing Company is the new downtown chill spot with thoughtful beer and killer food. Ogma Brewing Company in downtown Jackson. Today's show is being brought to you by Fortress Cares and Fortress Cafe. Visit Fortress Cafe downtown in the Lean Rocket Lab. They've got uh, great coffees. In fact, uh, they, they roast their own coffees. They search all over the world for the uh, highest quality beans, and they care. They are providing uh, s services and uh, assistance to families uh, going through cancer treatment, uh, gifts like coffee and flowers and treats, and uh, offering other support. And you can help. Visit uh, Fortress Cares and Fortress Cafe. With us now from Jackson School of the Arts, Sherry Good and Jody Petrowski. Good morning, morning, guys. morning, ladies. Thank you for having us. It's uh, it's exciting time always at Jackson School of the Arts, but uh, as school starts to come into session, I think people's minds start to think about Jackson School of the Arts too, and, oh, yes. and scheduling for uh, fall. What's going on? Yeah, so we are in full swing for fall registration. So feel free to check out all that we have available. We've actually have our existing programs that everyone is familiar with, but we're also launching 15 new art experiences or seminars or workshops, just so that if people need to have art in their life, they can have a bite-sized opportunity to explore the arts. Bite-sized. Uh, yesterday was National Clogging Day, and I had a rumor that uh, Jackson School of the Arts is gonna offer clogging classes. Is that true? Yes, we do offer clogging. Oh. Yep, and they tap. Can't, 
Tab. Oh, both. I know tab because yes. your mom did Yeah, you have classes for adults, yes? Yes, yes yeah. we do. Yeah. Yesterday, we had some cloggers come downtown to nice. celebrate National Clogging Day. Did you see them? I did. Yeah. I saw it. Yeah. I, I think, we, do we have a clip, Brandon? Oh, yes. Oh. So they came down. We can talk over this and clip. And they clogged oh, in front of JTV. Oh, I love it. That's so cute. It was, yeah. it was like a clogging flash mob. I as love well. it. Uh, did you Actually, know that? Do you is know that Chris? Chris? Yep, that's Chris. He's our clogging instructor. The Chris one in the Phelps? Hat. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He's, yeah, he's also amazing. He, does he work at MK? He, he, yeah, he's one of one of the main guys over there. And he's out clogging on the middle of a work day? He, well, he's he's got he's a little working. bit of working. You know, priority. He wore the M and K he wore the M and K stuff, so I mean that to oh. me looks like marketing. Multitasking. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's amazing. And the clogging nice. classes are super fun. I highly yes. recommend. So you can register for that. Uh, all the fall classes. All the fall classes. We launched the fall schedule um, second week of July, I believe, and they're already filling up fast. So if you are interested or know of a class mm -hmm. that you want to be involved in, you can uh, register online. Um, you can go to our website and check everything out and just go walk, walk yourself through the process. Or if you need any help or would like a private tour of any of our classrooms, um, programs, Kids Create, Child Care, um, it's all filling up fast, so we'd be happy to help accommodate every, anyone that's interested. We do have an open house on August 30th, too, from 4.30 to 6, so people can come in out and do that as well and um, explore at that time, too. We have a uh, uh, JTV staffer with a uh, child in the preschool as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Nice. So you have a sponsor student initiative, and I know um, one, of the, one of your major goals is to uh, be able to provide art classes or art for anyone in Jackson. Talk a little bit about some of the ways that uh, the community can help. Yeah, so as part of our nonprofit, our mission is to make sure that we have the arts that are accessible to all. And when we were in our old Art 634 building, we had about 150 different kids that we supported on some type of tuition assistance. Mm -hmm. And since that time, we have moved um, in less than two years and we've seen 650 different kids that wow. now require it. So we're seeing um, tremendous growth in enrollment, but also tremendous need for support. So we're asking our community to consider coming alongside us, showing that support for the kiddos, not only for their classes itself, but also mm -hmm. to make sure that they walk into the classroom with confidence so that they're equipped with the right tools or right attire to make them super confident. Jody, you've been uh, spending a lot of time with the little ones in the Kids Create uh, preschool program. How's that been for you? Amazing. I believe we're going into our ninth year of the Kids Create preschool experience, and it's um, wonderful to have a dedicated classroom for these kiddos in our new space. And we have two wonderful instructors with a group of up to 18 students. There's only a few spots left, so if anybody's interested, it's filling up quickly. Um, but what it is is just a program where we've combined all of our experiences, art, dance, and theater, into one morning preschool session where kids um, learn to love learning through the arts. Mm -hmm. So if we dance, we sing, we create, lots of art projects, lots of hands-on learning materials where the kids are learning through doing. And we have an outdoor playground. They go outside year-round every day, get sunshine on their faces. Um, in the spring and fall, obviously, we're playing in the nice green grass, but even in the winter, we go outside and play in the snow and paint the snow and have a wonderful time all year. Yeah, so it's a beautiful building and, and so many people coming downtown now uh, because of all that you guys offer. Talk a little bit about kind of having that hub downtown and seeing people constantly funnel through. Yeah, I think that we're becoming a positive light at City Center where People know that they can come in and enjoy, whether that's our event rental spaces that they can be a part of. Um, we just had a company on site this past week that was doing some of their team building or supporting art uh, events and festivals. So the art festival that's coming up in September, we also have the one that's coming up in October. We wanna be a part of all of that. And we're so thankful that we get those opportunities to be able to do that. City Center, I didn't know it had a name. I like it. Is that your building, City Center? No. No? <laughs> I just think we're in the center. All the center of the city. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, people can, can you yeah. can take, you can sponsor a student. Yeah. What's a good, what's, what's a, a I mean, of course, any dollar amount helps, but what's, yes. for example, what, what would help a sponsor a student for, say, a full class? Mm -hmm. So typically it's about $50 per month 
that we're encouraging or $600 for the year. Oh, okay. That makes sure that it covers them not only for their class tuition, but also covering any materials that they might need as well. So that really helps to move the needle, but any little bit really allows for us to work towards our mission. And then okay. when we get new kids that express interest, but also the need, we know that we can support them as well. Awesome. Yeah, with your new campus, you are able to serve uh, many more people. Oh yeah, so we've seen now where we're at 900, over 900 students enrolled in some type of programming. We offer art, dance, theater, taekwondo, gymnastics, all day childcare, and of course our kids create preschool experience too. So. I'd like to sponsor Brandon for one of those art classes and see see how your skills Thank you. hold up. <laughs> yeah. well, Brandon's, we have adult classes. <laughs> yeah, Brandon's taken Barrett there, you've taken yeah, a lot there. Yeah, yeah. it's just a great place. It's a great, uh, it's just a great feeling being there. Um, and of course, anyone who has been in the building before and seen the renovation, it's, it's fantastic. Thank you, yeah. We wanna make sure that we're keeping it super convenient for our families too. So I think having all the variety of art programming underneath one roof, mm -hmm. they're not having to zip back and forth throughout town. They can just come, pick a night, and allow for their families to explore the arts. That's what we want. Mm -hmm. And we want it for kids all the way up to the adults to do something too. Yeah, and uh, parents can walk around, get a coffee, yep. uh, look at the bright walls, get something to eat. Yes. Ride the elevator up and down. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. accessible <laughs> to all. <laughs> Some of the uh, cute faces in the uh, kids' programs at Jackson School of the Arts. And you'll also be part of the uh, Young Professionals event in October. I look forward mm -hmm. to that. Yes. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. Thanks thank for having us. us. It's always great. Sherry Good and Jody Petrosky from Jackson School of the Arts. Coming up, Andy and Jennifer go goat milking. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs>
It's time for the Dalams Birds, Blooms, and Butterflies event. I hope I said that right. I did. Birds, Blooms, and butter Butterflies. Saturday, August 12th, 9 to 3. It's a festive day at Dalam. Visit dalamcenter.org. Jackson College has a job fair on Thursday from 4 to 7. Come to Burt Walker Hall, the community rooms, and uh, apply in person. Get the on-the-spot interview if you're interested in safety and security officer positions fall and part-time. And a great opportunity for students to also work where you learn at Jackson College. And uh, Galazio has uh, pasta night tonight. Oh, do they? Nice. Yes. Uh, Chef Sean will be debuting his special cheese wheel pasta. He makes the pasta in a big wheel of Pecorini Toscana cheese. Sounds awesome. Awesome. Plus entertainment. Uh, continuing with our fair fun, this time we go, as you said, goat milking. Check it out, poor Millie. It's Jackson County Fair Week, and Jennifer and I are on the road with the Monday Morning Show. We're with Roger Hagen. Yep. And uh, you are the goat superintendent. You've been the goat superintendent for 25 years. How does one become a goat superintendent? Uh, basically, nobody else wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my son was in here. Uh, it was his first year showing goats, and the superintendent that was was here at that time wanted just one out. So uh, a friend of mine and myself took it over. So. 25 years ago. Yep. That's incredible. So we walked through what I thought was just going to be like a small section of goats. There are dozens and <laughs> dozens. Goats. There's yes. around uh, 125 in here this year. Oh my gosh. Last year we had about 80 and we were up quite a few on the numbers the this year. Really? How, yeah. Why so many more goats? Uh, it varies. Uh, numbers on the whole, on the state are up, what I understand on goats. Uh, it's, it's a fairly easy project yeah. compared to beef and, and hogs sure. and that it's inexpensive compared to them. What goes on in the, uh, the goat barn? Talk me through a little bit about what the uh, week is like here. Basically it's just they bring them down here and get them accustomed to it. Um, they sign up for barn duty and yeah. different various tasks. You hear the show was on Wednesday at 8.30 in the morning. I loved everybody down here watching. Come down. Yes, 8.30 uh, Wednesday. For, we have two judges uh, out of uh, Allegan coming over and do it. And they run them through their paces. They do showmanship first, the three classes of showmanship. And then they get into the individual species. Okay. That. Wait, showmanship. Uh, what kind of things can we expect from the goats? Well, for them, it's, showmanship is where the kids uh, highlight themselves. Oh. How they handle the goats, what yeah, they, no, their, knowledge, their knowledge of the animal and how it works. And then when they get into the species, that, excuse me, that's when it goes to they, it's more on the animal, okay. but they still is, they do the same tactics from showmanship. They do that. Roger. It looks like it looks like the little goat suites have their own decor. Yeah, yeah. each club does their own little decorating. We're we're not real fancy in it here compared good. to some barns, but it's one of the quieter barns. Uh, you know, it's not a lot of drama in here. The kids get along Hey, great. listen, I'm all about the no drama. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so are we. Yeah. So uh, you've got some uh, young gals with, it looks like maybe the largest goat that you have on property. Uh, no, it's just, a, I think it's a Lamar, uh, an alpine, I think, an alpine doe. She looks full. So Jennifer and I are going to... I guess you guys are going to milk the goat. Okay. I don't know. We're milking the goat. Okay. Hey, you look like you know you've done it. Have you milked the goat? I, mean, I feel like I know what I'm okay. doing. It's, it's been a long time since I've done it, so I'm right. going to stay back out of the way. Lillian <laughs> knows what's going on. All so. right, so who are we going to be talking to? Who are these gals? Um, Lillian. Come on up here. Yeah, come on up. So um, this is this is this Lily. Is Millie. Millie. Okay. Millie, Millie, right. the Millie. Millie the goat. Millie. And Millie, Millie needs to be milked. Yes, yes, she does. Like badly. Badly. Okay. <laughs> I have never milked a goat. It seems like Jennifer may have. <laughs> well, I've never milked a goat, but I feel like I can fake it okay. till I make it. All right. So what do we need to know? Well, she's a very ornery goat, so. Ornery? <laughs> I was just going to say, is she When, we, when we were walking in, this lady stopped yeah. us and she said, oh, you two are here to, to milk the one goat. Milk that goat. So what, what has Millie been doing? Well, she doesn't really like being hand milked. Yeah. She likes being machine milked. Um, but she'll give you a run for your money, so. Okay, we'll all right. Well, are you going to stick around and supervise? You have I to. will. All right, well, okay. let's let's do this, okay? okay. All right, let's do all it. All right, just tell me what I'm going to be doing really quick. So you're just going to be milking. I have a bucket for you here. Um, okay. Do you want any instructions? 
Yes. yes. Okay. He needs lots of instructions. I need instruction. all the instructions. Actually, will you hold this? <laughs> yeah, right sure. Can I roll my sleeves up or not so much? You don't need to. You can just kneel down next to her. Okay, Andy is in the kneeling position in his <laughs> farm, <laughs> in his farm so, clothes. Right here. Oh, oh right yeah. here. Yep. yep. Cow, you got two. I only got, got two. Now be careful. She doesn't tip over the bucket. Know. She likes to do that. All so, right. so she's gonna want. So I need a hand. It's kind of. Yeah. It's it's a squeeze. Yeah. A squeeze and pull. Like this. Squeeze and pull, Andy. And squeeze. It takes a second to get to the corner. Like this. Yep, just like that. All right, so just continue to do it. All right, Andy is well. milking right, the goat. Maybe use your other hand. <laughs> Andy is attempting to milk the goat and failing. Just like this? Yep, and then squeeze. All right, squeeze. So going anywhere, Lillian. <laughs> There's no... Help! <laughs> Maybe it's. Is it? Do you think Jennifer needs to be more assertive with her hand? Yeah, um, just she, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> well, this is this is why we're here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try. You're the expert, you do okay. it. You know what? Come on. Go ahead. Just All right. Do the same thing. Okay. We'll just grab it right here, right? Yep. Andy, good job. But there's nothing coming out. That's my problem. I heard something. You gotta. Pinch at the top and then squeeze Like top down. right here? Yep, or? yep, yep, yeah. Oh, Andy is much fingers. better at milking the There's goat. There's no milk coming out, it's but... It's just like a squeeze and sweet. Yeah. Like oh, a same slurpee. Way. Squeeze and sweet. Squeeze, squeeze okay, and sweet. Okay, I'm not looking. Is there anything happening? <laughs> this is fascinating. Is it? It is. I just feel like I'm just grabbing it. Did you hear something? Maybe. Maybe we should have the expert do right. it to actually show our viewers. There's a little milk. Here, look. Yep. <laughs> There's a little milk in there. All right, Good job. Show us how this thing's done. All right. All right. All right, Lillian. Oh, man. Oh, I, she makes it look so easy. It takes long, a minute to get it going. How long have you been milking uh, goats and working on the farm? Um, Not very long. She came into milk of, like four months ago. So Millie did? Yep. So there's definitely a technique for sure. I didn't oh, have yeah. the three finger down yep, there on that, that. Okay. That back how motion. Mu how much milk will this will um, we get out of this? This about a half a gallon in the morning. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. And her baby still try and sneak some milk in here and there. Yeah. But yeah, that's about how much we're getting right now. So um, are you do you work with all animals or do um, you really just just, just how'd you how'd you fall in love with goats? Um, coming to the fair, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no kidding? <laughs> yep, coming to the fair, seeing the goats. But, yeah, this is... So, Jennifer, the goat competition is on Wednesday, so you'll be showing Millie, or...? Yeah, and okay. some of my other goats here. Okay, so what, what do you have to do to get ready for uh, Wednesday? Well, we had to clip all the goats, um, so we already did that, and then Millie's going to have to have a nice full udder for the show as well, so we can't milk her before the show. Um... She's also going to be shown with her baby, Aww. which was her first baby. This, she's only had babies once. What's, what's her baby's name? Her baby's name is Dixie. Dixie. <laughs> she's here too. Okay. Millie and Dixie. Yep. So you mentioned that you got your start, or you fell in love with the goats at the fair. Yeah. So this is open to the public. Anybody that comes to the fair can come in and see the goats, or how does that work? Yeah, everyone can come see the goats. Yep. And are you excited about the competition? Yeah, I am. I hear showmanship is a big thing. Yes, that's one of my favorites. Yeah? Yep. What do you do to prepare? Um, well, study a lot about goats. <laughs> we definitely do a lot of research. Okay. So just to know everything, not everything, but <laughs> what the judge is going to ask and be prepared for that. How many goats have you shown? Well, last year was my first, or er, yeah, last year was my first year, so I took Millie and Tank. Okay. And then this year we have Millie and Jazz and her baby and another goat, which my brother will be showing. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, good luck to uh, Lillian and Millie on Wednesday. <laughs> Come down, check out the goats, check out the 4-H at the Jackson County Fair. Over time, we've seen more and more people frustrated with their dental benefits. They thought that because they had dental insurance, they'd be well taken care of. Well, that's exactly what the insurance companies want you to believe. They figure out a way to collect your premiums while continuing to limit your choice of doctor and your choice of treatment. There's not one company better than the others. 
They've created an environment where dentists diagnose treatment or recommend care based upon your insurance dollars available. That's not the way people should be treated, and we think there's a better way. We put the interest of you and your family first. We take the time with you to figure out how to get the care you need, whether it's with your insurance or not. We are Dentistry by Design, and our mission is to make excellent dental care a joy. Please call, visit the website, or drop by the office. We'd love to answer any questions you may have. And be sure to ask about our exclusive membership program to help you save on the cost of your dental care. The ShopRat Foundation is a local organization focused on igniting interest in manufacturing and trades careers among youth in Jackson County. Programming is focused on construction, engineering, precision machining, welding, and computer science. Through these programs, students develop foundational knowledge and confidence to succeed in these careers. It is our priority that students know that these opportunities exist for them and are essential to our community. To learn more about the ShopRat Foundation, please visit our website at shoprat.org. Hi, I'm Phil Tripp from Tripp's Collision Centers in Jackson, Lansing, and East Lansing. And I'm Barb Tripp, inviting you to join us at this year's Jackson County Fair. Fun for the whole family includes the wild world of animals, magic, big concerts, the Midway, and of course the rides and games. Join the fun in Jackson at the Jackson County Fair, August 6th through the 12th. A fun place to take your family and friends is the Jackson Candy and Fudge Factory. See. Hear. Smell. Taste. While you're here, pick up a gift to share. You always feel like a kid in a candy store at the Jackson Candy and Fudge Factory. Runway Party Store has everything from lunch to dinner or just a snack along the way. Check out our Facebook page to see what fresh cooked meals we prepare daily. Runway Party Store on Michigan Avenue, just south of the Jackson Airport. Southside Summerfest continues this Saturday at Elnor Mormon Park. It is the Entrepreneur's Business Expo. There will be local business experts talking about uh, taxes, licenses, insurance, all the things you need to know. Get some great help from uh, entrepreneurs in our community at Southside Summerfest. Also this Saturday, it is the rededication of the Violent Victims Crime Memorial, and that is at the uh, Cascade. Cascades, uh, it's near the uh, church on a uh, park on Denton. Intersection of High Randolph, and Randolph. Park on Randolph. Yeah, and uh, everyone's welcome to attend. Uh, the prosecutor's office and victims' rights unit have done a great job uh, honoring those who have been victims of violent crime. With us now, the general manager of the Cascades Manor, Kirk Root. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Uh, we're doing well. Uh, next time we go to the fair, I'm bringing you. I don't know what to do. Well, I didn't either. You'll fit, you'll, you'll fit right It'll in. It'll work out. You'll fit right in. How's things going at the manor? Well, uh, kicking up a good busy summer, good. so uh, having a lot of fun. Weddings. Oh Weddings are going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Josh and Julie just had a beautiful wedding. Yeah. Yes. I was looking at some of the photos of the various weddings and family reunions that have been there uh, this done, summer. Uh, yeah, a lot of grad parties this year, which was uh, more than what we've done in the past. So that was a nice transition into wedding season. Kind of get the staff honed up and uh, doing well. The, uh, uh, this is a great shot here and it kind of shows you have so many different spaces at the manor that you can utilize for so many different type of settings. This is, uh, this is cool. I don't think I've ever seen uh, this that setting before right and that was a small yeah. intimate uh, ceremony with a with a large reception so uh, it was a great event the Myers room this is, the, this is the room where I think like serious business gets done like guys have meetings in there gals have meetings in there and they really get to the bottom and of I've it. been told back when it was the Cascade Clubhouse that room was like the cigar room yes uh, yes yeah, that was, it was where the golf uh, course started. Uh, 
years ago. I love sure. attending weddings at uh, Cascades Manor because there's so much room to like walk around and kind of stretch your legs, the beautiful grounds. Um, it's just it's just really really nice. Is it too early to uh, to start <coughs> thinking about weddings and say even 2025? Or I'm people? booking 25 right now. Yeah, wow. it's, it's going on. Uh, a lot of Christmas bookings going on right now for uh, family and corporate Christmas parties. Those dates seem to be filling really fast. Yeah. In the last couple of weeks, everybody is you know getting the reservations in for that. So we're excited for another business Christmas season and. Uh, yeah, having a lot of fun. Yeah, you better book uh, your Christmas party. Those those will fill up fast. Um, how long have you been uh, the man of the manor now? <laughs> Two years now. <laughs> it's really, uh, you've done a wonderful job. It's been amazing uh, talking to folks who've had their events there. Um, and it's stressful putting on, a, on an event. You want thing you want to know that things are going to go right, and that's where you guys come right, in. Right, yeah. It, you know, just is kind of second nature to us when we do it day in and day out. We know the questions to ask and what to look for. Uh, last year, we were we had a lot of uh, three wedding weekends where we do Friday, Saturday, and Sunday weddings, all different events. We'd have you know an elegant followed by a rustic, you know, followed by you know who knows what, all kinds of different themes for weddings, um, and it's crazy. It's kind of like the the players kind of change, but the act is still the same. Like sure. you know you know who's going to kind of be high. Uh, stress and right. what you have to do you know to step in and, and calm their nerves and uh you know and just uh roll with the punches yeah uh kirk's a man of great taste he walked in wearing uh the exact tie i have i almost wore that tie today you couldn't because i stole it from the closet <laughs> <laughs> uh kirk couldn't do what he does without his oh amazing staff. staff bev is amazing and i think when people um, book their wedding, the first thing they're thinking about is the food. Right, yeah. well, yeah, some people think of the food, other people think of you know, the historic or vintage building. Um, a lot of people are shocked when they realize that our food is not like most kittered food, that right. it is, you know, if you're ordering uh, roast beef from us, that is hand carved on the line, you know, by an attendant who mm -hmm. uh, knows how to cut meat and you know, it's more than pre-cut meats soaking in broth right. in, a, in a chafing dish. dish. So, um, you know, I'm fortunate to have the staff that I have, you know, every level from my uh, high school kids all the way up to my, you know, seasoned professionals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is this the staff? No. This that is part of the staff. Part yeah. of the staff, part yeah. of the staff. Part of the yeah. staff. Great looking group. And you'll see the same faces uh, over and over because you have a long, uh, uh, team that has been there a long time. Right, we've, we've brought a lot of people on and even, you know, I've got uh, high school students now that are graduating, mm -hmm. heading to college and uh, got a text from one last night trying to see what I can do to help her commute to uh, to and from Michigan State while she comes oh, home wow. to work, uh, worthwhile for yeah. her. So we'll have to talk to her this week. and. That's nice. She'll come back to work if you can get her to and from school. <laughs> right. And pay the tuition. I, I just have to buy a bus. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, what's new on the uh, menu? You guys are always messing with the menu. Well, we always play with things. Our, our main menu stays pretty much the mm -hmm. same. We don't mess with uh, the main menu a lot. We do special um, menus, um, you know, as people request. And that's probably Bev's absolute favorite thing to do, mm -hmm. I think, is when you have a client that wants, you know, a high-end meal and she does her, you can see the wheels turn in her right. head and, you know, she's like, we'll do chicken Oscar yeah. and uh, Michigan bounty salad and things that aren't on our menu that she just comes up with and uh, executes perfectly. Uh, wedding the past, this past Saturday had uh, beef tenderloin and mm. she was a nervous wreck about it until she started getting the reports of how great it was and people coming back for seconds nice. and, you know, so it was wonderful. It's a lot of stress. It is. Cooking for that many people. Yeah, and I, I, I have been in, in the food industry my entire life, and I am shocked by the way that she just performs. Mm -hmm. I mean, day in, day out, you know, you can't ask for more. It's awesome. And if you are planning a special event, uh, maybe a breakfast or a uh, luncheon, if you want people to come, schedule at the Cascades Manor. I, th I think a lot of people 
I mean, they'll make that decision. Well, it's I think a, about you, <laughs> and you always wonder, you know, well, what's the food? Well, right. people ask. Some say, what, well, what's the are food? you going to go to such and such event? Well, where is it? What's Guess the food? Kids? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And we, we hear also, you know, who's catering that one? Yeah. You know? <laughs> and with us, we, you know, we're catering that one. Yeah. So, so it's yeah, it's nice. You don't have, there's not as many moving pieces. Uh, you guys can control so much right there. Right. When we do weddings, we are the, we are the wedding coordinator. So right. everything's in house. You know, our staff has done it time in and time out, knows what to do, when to do, and uh, how to fix an issue if it happened to occur. So get on the calendar at Cascades Manor for your holiday party. You've got a wedding or big event coming up in the next year or two. Uh, don't delay. Uh, inside and out, uh, beautiful grounds, wonderful service, and uh, tremendous food. Kirk, good to see you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank Appreciate you. you guys having me on. The uh, general manager at Cascades Manor, Kirk Root. The morning show continues after this. The Pick Center is an independent practice that has provided care to the Jackson area for over 25 years. Doctors O'Neill and CAC supervise antibiotic infusions, as well as those for many other conditions, such as inflammatory bowel, joint and lung disease, anemia, and multiple sclerosis. Our modern facility is open seven days a week, and the infusion staff will make you feel right at home. Let your doctor know you have a choice where you receive your next infusion. Remember, when you've picked us, you've picked the best. If you're looking for a high quality, affordable alternative to the emergency room, then come to IEP Urgent Care's new location in Jackson. It's the same great ER physicians who have been providing care through our local hospitals since 2008, but now with a new location to serve you better. Our ER trained providers believe high quality care is for everyone, so we work with all insurances, including Medicaid and Medicare. Come see us on East Michigan Ave. Are you struggling with your mental health? We can help at Michigan Psychological Care, located in Jackson, Michigan. We are here to help strengthen your relationships, your interpersonal connections, and help you find yourself. With options of individual therapy, family and couples, group counseling, psychological evaluations, we are here to help with all your mental health needs. Contact us today to live the life you've always dreamed. Jackson College is hiring full and part-time safety and security officers. Competitive wages, great benefits, various shifts. Bring your resume for an on-the-spot interview at our upcoming job fairs. Welcome back to the morning show <laughs> on JTV. Uh, join us tomorrow. We have Kristen Pluta from the Jackson County Health Department along with Noah Nagy, the warden at the prison. So join us tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Uh, later today, we have uh, Kelby Wallace, uh, Steve Dore from uh, East Jackson Schools, and it's Pastor's Day. We have Pastor Derek Riddle, Pastor Zach Holdorf, and Donna Lake, Maria Etheridge, uh, and Amanda Loveland, and Tanika Smith all lined up uh, tomorrow. We've got Zumba under the stars. Zumba, Jackson YMCA Zumba. You've got that going on. That's Thursday. You've got Cherry Creek music also on Thursday, and then of course a uh, very, very busy weekend. So, a lot going on. A lot going on on Thursdays this summer. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of uh, fun things to do in uh, the summer, and of course, the Jackson County Fair. That's right. Tickets available for the big shows on Friday and Saturday. Uh, Steve Miller and the Big Country Concert. So. Yeah. Check on uh, Millie the Goat, too. Hopefully, she's able to uh, compete after that milking that she got. But what, what did you do with the milk? I gave it to Adam and he drank it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being with us today on the morning show and we'll see you this afternoon.